it's not the barrage you'd expect to hear coming from a military installation. But these aren't your typical sailors, and this is not your typical band. They're some of the finest musicians that you're going to hear in the country, and they're serving their country with their talent. The Navy band has been around informally almost as long as the Navy. Serving through song at presidential inaugurations, funerals, and other government functions. Captain Ken Collins is the band's commander. We have a bell part on this. There's a bell solo right there. We need to get it to you. His standards are military grade, reflected in what you hear and see on stage. What's it like to watch various generations of musicians come through the band and grow? That must be very rewarding. And the most rewarding thing for me, honestly, is it, getting the opportunity to work with these outstanding individuals and watch them all serve and succeed and grow. Musician first class Chelsea Vanderpool is one of those faces. I was living in LA doing that daily grind of the singer life and at one point was working at a pirate themed dinner adventure and started to realize I wanted to be part of something maybe a little bigger than myself. Tells you, there's easier ways to join a band. Boot camp? I was really terrified to go to boot camp, so I also trained a lot and was really ready. Once they found out I was a singer, it was just every single day there was a slew of random people from other buildings that were like, sing us a song. Two decades ago, senior chief musician Michael Belinke nearly began a career as an attorney. I think some of my early musical training was singing in the car and then when I got older, I, I was finding myself singing Prince and Michael Jackson songs um, and realizing that everybody can't do that. And so I, the more I did it, the more people wanted me to do it more. And, I've, and so singing falsetto has just been something that I've been, I get to do in my, my job. When I walked into rehearsal today, I noticed people of all ages, men, women, people of all races. There's such a great camaraderie in this group. Well, music is a universal language and it connects us all. It's the reason why we're here and it's the tool that we use to connect the Navy to the people. Musician first class David Smith plays trumpet in the band's brass section. The band's 170 members and its 11 ensembles perform more than 1,300 shows per year all around the globe. It was my first year. We learned a Japanese piece. We had selected a song that was written in honor of those that they lost in the giant tsunami in 2011. The Japanese people there, they just started weeping. And they came up to us and they shake our hands afterwards through broken English there. They're thanking us for honoring them, honoring their people, honoring their country. We shared an experience, established good faith, and we just, we created a relationship. And that was, I, I can't imagine anything more impactful. And these servicemen are not typically subject to combat deployment the way other sailors in the Navy are. And it's so interesting because first they audition mm -hmm. for the band, and then if they make it, they join the Navy. Because yeah. I was wondering about what happens if you don't make the <laughs> band. And I joke with Chelsea, there are easier, easier ways. <laughs> yeah, we all agree with you on that. Boot camp. But as yeah. you just heard, you can understand why someone would want this opportunity and also why thousands of tickets to their Sunday show sold out. In about seven minutes. Wow, great piece. You don't, really you don't just cover the White House. <laughs> <laughs> There's really joy in Washington. <laughs> Paula, thank you. Thanks, Paula.